I'd like to take this time to introduce the continuity equation. And the continuity equation basically describes what happens to a fluid uh, in the situation where you have convergence or divergence. So here's an example of surface convergence. You have the ground, you have an initial box here in black, uh, air is converging at the surface, and as a result, uh, you're going to have to stretch that box uh, and cause vertical motion uh, at the surface. Uh, likewise, if you happen to have divergence aloft, uh, if you have divergence aloft in an air parcel, uh, then air will move into that to essentially prevent the density from going to zero. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to essentially create the mathematical formulation that allows us to describe uh, the vertical motions uh, or horizontal motions that uh, are associated with convergence and divergence in the atmosphere. So we have two forms of the continuity equation. One is the Lagrangian form. Uh, recall that the Lagrangian actually follows the motion of an air parcel. So as this air parcel is moving, how is the density of that air parcel changing, essentially? Is it uh, uh, essentially diverging or converging, expanding or contracting, if you want to think of it that way? <clears throat> and the form of the equation is 1 over the density times the total derivative of the density with respect to time plus uh, del dot v. Uh, and this is actually the divergence. <clears throat> So, um, and we set this uh, equation equal to zero. So the divergence term and the uh, total derivative of the density uh, combine to have a zero change associated with that. Now, of course, this is shorthand notation. We need to be able to expand uh, that notation into the actual equation. And recall that the total derivative um, is, uh, in this case, one over everything for the density. Uh, but it's a partial density uh, with respect to the, the uh, partial derivative of density with respect to time uh, plus u times partial rho over partial x plus v partial rho over partial y plus w partial rho over partial z. Uh, that is the expansion of the total derivative. And then we have the divergence component, uh, which is delta v, which is partial u over partial x plus partial v over partial y and partial w over partial z equals to zero. That's the full form of the continuity equation. Uh, we also have the Eulerian form, which basically says at a given point, uh, what is the change in the local density, uh, the change, uh, the rate of change of local density with respect to time. And that's partial rho over partial t, in this case, plus uh, del dot uh, rho uh, v, uh, where v is the velocity vector and that is equal to zero. Now, these are the same equation, they're just written slightly differently. And so we should be able to expand this into a way that makes it exactly the same as the Lagrangian form. <clears throat> so in order to do that, we have our partial derivative with respect to time uh, of density plus, and then we have to distribute uh, this property. So it's going to be rho uh, del dot v plus v uh, dot grad rho. <clears throat> and then we'll expand that out, uh, and you have rho partial u over partial x plus rho partial rho, uh, partial v over partial y plus rho, partial w over partial z. Uh, and then you have the v dot uh, grad p, u partial p over partial x, v partial rho over partial y, and w partial rho over partial z. And you'll see that uh, if we just do a little bit to uh, divide everything by density, um, you would kind of end up with the exact same equation for both the Lagrangian form and the Eulerian form. So the beauty of this is, is that we understand qualitatively uh, how the atmosphere is going to react. Um, if we compress it or expand it, we have divergence or convergence uh, in a given area. Uh, but now we have the mathematical way to actually quantify the divergence and the convergence and its impact on uh, the local motions or the local density. Uh, one of the things that we often think about is if the total rate of change of density uh, with respect to time is equal to zero, we define that as an incompressible fluid. And that would be an example of, say, liquid water, which is uh, primarily incompressible. Um, it's not uh, the best uh, assumption for uh, the atmosphere, at least vertically. Uh, when we move things vertically, things are uh, compressible. Uh, 
and expandable. Uh, but if you're talking about horizontal motions only, uh, for horizontal motions, you can pretty much treat the atmosphere as incompressible flow. Uh, and that allows you to simplify the equations. Uh, if the total time rate of change of the density is equal to zero for um, the um, incompressible fluid assumption, then you're left with the divergence is equal to zero. And the divergence is just this partial u over partial x plus partial v over partial y and partial w over partial z. And, and that would essentially allow you to quantify the impact that divergence or convergence would have on vertical or uh, horizontal motions associated with that.